In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this easy dog Santa hat. This is made for a medium sized dog, but can easily be adjustable for smaller sizes. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started. The materials needed for today's video is just some four weight white yarn and some four weight red yarn. And we'll be using this Red Heart Classic. You will also need a stitch marker and a size I crochet hook. Um, I am using this Friends crochet hook. I got this custom made on Etsy if you are interested in looking at these crochet hooks. Take a look in the description box down below. I will have a link for that. Uh, before we start today's tutorial, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and give me a comment down below. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin, we do want to start with a magic ring. If you do not know how to make a magic ring, please click the link at the top of this video and I do have a video showing how to make that. Um, so once you have your magic ring, you want to chain up one. And now what we want to do is make eight half double crochets into the ring. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook into that loop, yarn over, and we're gonna pull through all three loops. So that's going to count as our first. We are not going to do uh, the chains as a stitch, so that's going to be our first half double crochet. Here is two, and pull through all three loops. So go ahead and make ha eight half double crochets, and I will meet you back here for round two. Okay, so once you have your eight half double crochets, what we want to do to attach is we are going to actually put one double crochet into the top, of our first half double crochet. So yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop. Now my way of doing this is I like to make sure that it's really tight at this point. Pull through two, tighten it down again, and pull through the last two. Make sure that's really nice and secure because that is going to be closing up our ring. We then want to place our stitch marker and we are going to place one more double crochet back into that same exact space that you had done originally, because remember we have eight double crochets at the beginning of this round. By the end of round two, we will have 16, because we are going to be placing two double crochets into every single stitch. So go into the next stitch, place two double crochets into the following stitch, place two double crochets, so just go ahead and increase all the way around for row two, and I will meet you back here for round three. Okay, so this is what it should look like when you get done with round two. Moving on to round three, into the first stitch, we want to place one double crochet and replace our stitch marker. This is again going to be an increase row. We will be increasing into every other stitch. So we are going to start with one double crochet. Into the next stitch, uh, we are going to place two double crochets into that same stitch. And then into the following stitch, you will do one double crochet right here. You'll do one double crochet. And then into the following stitch, you will make two double crochets. So continue to do this all the way around, and I will meet you back here for round four. Okay, so moving on to round four is going to be another increase. Uh, so we will put one double crochet into the first stitch. Into the second stitch, we are going to place one double crochet as well. So there we go. And then into the third stitch, we are going to put two double crochets. So you will continue to do this all the way around for row four. You will do one double crochet into one stitch, one double crochet. And then on the third stitch, you will do two double crochets into the same stitch increasing. So do that all the way around and I will meet you back here for row five. Okay, so moving on to the next row will be an also an increase. So we will do one double crochet into the first stitch, one double crochet into the second stitch, 
one double crochet into the third stitch and then into the fourth stitch you will place two double crochets and then you will place one double crochet into the first stitch one double crochet into the second stitch one double crochet into the third stitch and into the fourth stitch you will place two double crochets so go ahead and do that all the way for round five and i will meet you back here for row six okay so then moving on to row six is going to be an increase row as well. So we will be increasing into the fifth stitch on this row and it's going to be the last increase row. Into the first stitch you will place one double crochet. Into the second stitch you will place one double crochet. Into the third stitch you will place one double crochet. Into the fourth stitch you will place one double crochet. And then into the fifth stitch you will place two double crochets into the same stitch. Continue to do that all the way around for our last increase row and I will meet you back here and we will move on to the next part of this tutorial. Okay, so again, if you're making this in a large size, um, you will end up having 48 stitches when you get done with round five, uh, row six, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, yes. When you get done with row six, you will have 48 stitches. Um, now what we want to do is just go through and make one row of double crochet into every single stitch, no increase, and meet me back here for row eight. Okay, so moving on to the next round, I just went ahead and marked off where I'm going to put the ears, um, but I have the stitch count. I'm going to work through this whole row with you. So into the first stitch, we are going to place one double crochet and replace our marker. Sorry about the weird lighting, you guys. Okay, into the second stitch, we are going to place one double crochet. Into the third stitch, we are going to place one double crochet. Into the fourth stitch, we're gonna place one double crochet into the fifth stitch we'll place one double crochet into the sixth stitch we will place one double crochet so now what we are going to do is we are going to skip the next nine stitches and we're actually going to chain so just loosely chain nine excuse me ten stitches one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm sorry, nine stitches, not 10 stitches. And we are going to skip the next nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And into the 10th stitch, we are going to place a double crochet. Just like Okay, so we skipped nine stitches, we chained nine, and we skipped nine. Now over the next 15 stitches, you want to place one double crochet into every single stitch um, until you get to that 15th stitch. And when you have done 15, we will go ahead and make the other ear. Um, so I'm going to fast forward through this really fast. So here I've made it to the 15th stitch. Now I'm going to loosely chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to skip nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then into that 10th stitch, like we did before, we are going to place a double crochet into that stitch right there. And then you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches left until your stitch marker. So go ahead and work one double crochet across each of the next stitches and I will meet you back here for the next round. 
Okay, so here I am back at the stitch marker. Now what you want to do is place one double crochet into the first stitch and all the way over to here and then I will show you what to do. Meet me back at this video. Okay, so here I am where we had done the ears. Now you could work into the stitches if you'd like, but I simply like to just work a double crochet around the whole thing. So we did nine chains, then you would just work nine double crochets um, sh just all the way around. And I will meet you back here and show you what that looks like when I'm all done. Okay, and this is what it'll look like once you double crochet around the top of that. Then what you want to do is go into the very next stitch and place a double crochet there. And we are simply going to do that all the way around until we get back at our stitch marker. And I will meet you back this video. Okay, and here's what it's looking like so far. Now what we want to do is we want to do one row of single crochet. Um, so actually the stitch right before our stitch marker, we want to make that into a half double crochet instead of a double crochet. So then in the first stitch, we are going to place a single crochet and replace our stitch marker. Now in every single stitch around, we just want to place one single crochet. You don't want to do this too tightly. Um, but just place one single crochet all the way around, meet me back at the stitch marker, and we are going to change colors. Okay, so the stitch right before our stitch marker, as we're doing our single crochet, we are going to change colors. So leaving a little bit of a tail, we are going to go ahead and cut our red yarn. Preferably your scissors are um, sharper than the ones that I'm currently working with. Um, grab up your new color, which is going to be the white. So into that last stitch, we're going to go in and pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook. We're going to grab our new color, leaving a little bit of a tail, and just hold it on there and pull it through both loops. Now what I like to do at this point is I like to make a knot just to make sure that this is not going to come out. And then I'll go back through and I'll sew that in later. At this point, you want to go ahead and do one single crochet into every stitch around using your white yarn. Um, so, oops, going into that first stitch, try not to grab your tail yarn. You just start with a single crochet, place your stitch marker, and on your way you go. So just place one single crochet with your white yarn all the way around and I will meet you back at our stitch marker. Okay, so here I am back to the last stitch and what I'm going to do is just place a slip stitch right there. I'm gonna slip stitch into the second and I'm gonna draw up a loop, um, leave a little bit of a tail for sewing and I'm gonna cut that and pull it through. So now what we want to do is you want to go ahead and make a pom-pom and then we will attach that at the top. You just, um, you know, attach a pom-pom however you do um, and then add either, you know, a braided thing here to tie or you can, um, you know, just make a chain, add some straps for the head, and that is how you do it. I will put a picture of the finished product here at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought, and please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and um, thank you for joining my channel.